Yes, it is another day of doing some tumbling stuff. Right now, actually, right now I am emptying, emptying the ceramic or porcelain media out of here. And if you've not seen it before, the way we do it is we've got this kind of flexible hose that goes onto this sort of tub thing and then there's a suction pipe, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. There's a suction pipe down to an ordinary vacuum cleaner. This is like a typical thing you get in a house. Um, so it's not hugely powerful, but it's, it seems to work. And so the suction, so it sucks air through this pipe and it deposits the, the media in this big tub and the air continues here. So it's kind of like a big, a big bypass kind of thing. Um, that's possibly the worst explanation I could have given you, but um, you know, I'm busy, I'm working, uh, it's the best you're gonna get just now, unfortunately. So uh, let's empty this thing. I've just spent the last two, three hours in the cafe, answering emails, on the phone, all the sort of business stuff that has to be done. Um, yeah, I tend to not answer emails as often as I should and I just sort of batch them. So like what I'm trying to do now is I'm gonna get up to speed today, that's my plan, and then just do it every single day. Back for a quick check, we're back along the workshop, a quick check on the tumbling before heading home to answer yet more emails. I'm scrolling through the comments just now and there's no questions. Now I don't know if I'm doing something really right or if I'm doing something really wrong that there's no questions. Either way is fine. Just spent the last two hours answering emails. Um, serves me right for letting them sort of stack up like that. Um, I was just thinking, I, I bought some notepads there, uh, like six little pocket-sized notepads, and it's actually someone uh, on Instagram who actually lives locally. I can't, I have no idea how I how I found out about her, but you know, great service and. In, in there she put a little packet of a little packet of sweets, um, which is kind of cool, it's like a nice little touch. And, I, and it reminded me that, and I completely forgotten about this, I used to, I used to include a little sort of high quality chocolate in every package I sent out. Now the reason I stopped that is I had a couple of packages returned because you know they made it to wherever they were going and they, you know, like for whatever reason, uh, invalid address or something, they came back a few weeks later, two or three weeks later. And it was really melted, like, it wasn't an open chocolate, it was in a sealed packet, but it was really squished and melted, and I thought, this squished, melted chocolate looks worse than having no chocolate at all. Um, and so I stopped it dead, and I thought, well, let's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll revisit it at some point, because I thought it was a nice touch, and, you know, I'd always get comments about it. So, yeah, I'm thinking I should do it again, um, uh, doing that. Yeah, I just, you know, it just bothered me that, uh, there was people would receive this melted chocolate, so I don't know what was happening to to the shipping process. You know, like which countries was it going to? Which really hot countries was it sitting like in the depot at? Um, sorry for the noise in the background. There's like diggers and trucks over there behind my garden fence. Uh, so, so yeah, um, yeah. Passing thought. Thought I'd share it with you. Right. Take a look at this. It's a bit random. You see all these notches? This is actually um, not a solid bar or tube of metal. It's actually, take a look at this. I don't know how this will come through. You should be able to see a dot right at the end there. 
It's actually 20 pots all screwed together. I call them bottomless titanium pill pots. They're all screwed together. And uh, believe it or not, they're really, really strong. Like, that doesn't bend at all. And they're actually threaded. You okay, look at this. The reason for showing you this is, well, quite simply, I was doing an update for my Kickstarter project where the backers are waiting for me to deliver this as part of it. You know, I've got a whole range of titanium uh, containers, 36 millimeter diameter and 45 millimeter diameter. And I was just doing an update and I don't know why, but I, I just screwed them all together to make one giant pot in the video. And I thought, oh, that's, that's something cool to, uh, to, show, um, to show the YouTube channel as well to show on the YouTube channel so that's it no real reason for uh, for showing you that really but uh, in fact let's even get a better picture down the length of it for you right I think I will call it a day at that I will of course leave you with a quote it is by Viktor Frankl and he said everything can be taken from a man but the last of the human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances.